It's like 50 degrees. It's the first time it's been this warm so far this year. We like half unexpectedly woke up to a bunch of snow this morning. I'm actually giving this plant away for free today. This table. I can't, I can't, I can't do it again. So you want to unbox a plant with me? Unbag a plant with me? So like that, you just stick that little guy in water. Just look out for that. My own line of puzzles coming in 2023. <laughs> So if you follow us on Instagram, you may have seen that I started like a personal project where I'm refinishing a couple pieces of furniture. We used to refinish furniture for many, many years, like eight years as a business, as vintage hip decor, but we kind of switched. We started doing YouTube, but I, um, I wanted to get like a MacBook and an iPad to make myself a little bit more mobile with the video editing and stuff that I have started doing over the last two years. And so I decided to personally refinish a couple pieces of furniture to kind of fund that project. So this table is part of that. I have already done a tall dresser and I'm almost done with a chest of drawers. So this table is next. It's a little windy out today, but it's not cold which is really nice. It's like 50 degrees. It's the first time it's been this warm so far this year. So I thought this would be a great time to get outside and sand this table. Um, I'm just gonna be sanding it down to the raw wood. I haven't fully decided yet like what finish I wanna do, if I wanna stain it a dark color or do like a blonde wood look, but we're just gonna see how it sands down and then go from there. <laughs> my very first time using a belt sander and like I think it gave me a good um, start on like getting the finish off but now I'm gonna just finish off with something I know and that's just the orbital sander. I'm gonna break for lunch now but look at how beautiful it is turning out. It's really pretty. I love sanding down wood and restating it. It just gives it such new life, you know? I'm actually giving this plant away for free today because it is struggling. It is really not in a good place. And I have rescued this plant just like one too many times. I've had it for a long time. And I've rescued it twice from spider mites, which was really stressful. And I just like don't have the capacity to just take on whatever is happening with it now because it is like a bug or something that I have never seen before on plants because I didn't want to just like throw it away. So somebody's gonna come and see if they can't breathe new life into it. But I was just like, can't, I can't, I can't do it again. I was just walking back and I totally wiped out. All right, I am all done with lunch. So it is time to get back to this table. I didn't hurt myself, just my pride. Um, but it is time to get this table all the way sanded now that lunch is over. And now that I fell. All right, there it is all sanded down. It looks really great. And while I was doing some of the finished sanding, I kind of decided I might want to go light with it. So that's just how I feel right now. We'll see. I will obviously keep you updated, but it is looking very, very nice.
right, here is a close-up of it. I think it came out really nice. I'm looking forward to styling it and photographing it. So don't mind how absolutely dusty I am, but I just gave my uh, Monstera away, like I was telling you. And it was just for free. I wasn't expecting anything. I just wanted somebody to save it. And she said she would give me a Monstera plant in return, like a healthy one. And she brought it in this bag, probably to protect it from the cold. So I have no idea what it looks like. So you want to unbox a plant with me, unbag a plant with me, and see what it looks like? Oh, wow. That <laughs> was really nice of her, right? Like, she did not have to do that. I was just giving my plant away for free so there's like the two monstera leaves and it's got like a pothos down in the plot in the in the pot <laughs> that is what she gave me in exchange for my dead and dying plant some pothos cuttings so i have to propagate those put those in water <laughs> nice and then yeah this is like a a big old uh, monstera stalk with like two leaves and she said, I don't know if you can see this. Do you see down in there? Ugh. Well, let me move this. Just put those aside for one second. Do you see? Do you see that right there? That is a garlic clove. She said it'll grow and it's um, supposed to help keep the plant and the soil healthy. I've never heard of that. And she said the garlic clove will grow. And if it gets too big, just to cut it down and it'll just grow again. <laughs> I've never done that to one of my plants. So I'm just gonna take care of this guy instead of the unhealthy one that I gave to her to rescue. But she she did not seem concerned by the plant that I gave her. She's like, it'll be fine. So she's gonna rescue it. I just didn't have it in me, but I'm happy for somebody else to do it. Let's go cut these up and put them in water so that they can sprout leaves and I can make a little, a little golden pothos. Well, actually that looks like a, a marble queen, I think. You want to propagate a pothos you just cut on either side of this node so I'm gonna cut like right here and then you stick that node in water and that'll grow a root and then once it's a an inch or two long you can plant it in soil so like that you just stick that little guy in water So in a few weeks that can those can all be planted together in the same little pot and then you have a brand new plant it's a good thing that i got outside yesterday when it was still 50 degrees and sanded that table down because we like half unexpectedly woke up to a bunch of snow this morning and it's super pretty but yeah this weather wouldn't have been good for working on the table <laughs> So the whole point of me refinishing a couple pieces of furniture is like I've talked about, um, I wanted to get a MacBook and an iPad to help me with my editing, to make me a little bit more mobile. And the reason I got the iPad was because you can actually use an iPad as a second screen with a MacBook, which is really nice for editing. But I have been loving it. I've had it for about a week and a half maybe. And I have been having a lot of fun specifically with Procreate. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but it's like a 
pretty popular like drawing app on the iPad that people can like, you can really, <laughs> you can pretty much draw or illustrate anything in this app. It's like super professional. I am not somebody who really draws, but I got the app because a lot of people use it for like their YouTube thumbnails and stuff. So I figured I would be able to do that too. But I wanted to show you, it's just like really pretty. Like this is just like somebody gave the advice to go in and like, play around with the brushes. So that's what I did in these two. I'm still working on that, going through and like learning some of the brushes and stuff. Um, <laughs> but I drew this and I had a lot of fun. I drew this little like fish. I asked my husband, I was like, what should I draw? Cause I like hadn't draw really drawn anything. Um, so I drew this little <laughs> fish which I thought came out like so cute I don't know I just have been having a lot of fun with like procreate and uh people do it to like create a lots of really really cool things for like their businesses you, like I said you can pretty much like illustrate anything um so I don't know what I'll get up to in procreate um because I'm not very artistic in that sense, or at least I don't think like, but you know, one thought crossed my mind. I was like, what if I get really good at drawing and using Procreate and I like draw really pretty things that I could put on like puzzles. If you've been following for any amount of time, especially on Instagram, you'll know that I'm pretty obsessed with puzzles. I have a lot of them and I really enjoy beautiful puzzles, of course. So how cool would that be if like I, I got like good at drawing something cool and like put it on a puzzle just look out for that my own line of puzzles coming in 2023 <laughs> um, but yeah I just wanted to share that that's like the whole point of me doing the furniture is so I can get a MacBook and an iPad to help me with work and my creativity and um, I've really been enjoying that so I just thought I would share that with you